I always used to wonder, what is that thing up there? I needed answers, so I went to the library at Yorkshire Water Head Office. So it turns out that big structure is a water tower. But what is a water tower and what is its purpose? Let's get into it. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to The Science Behind with me Guy, this is episode 3 and I'm in Tinsel in Leeds and I'm with Chris Griffin. Hi Guy, yep I'm Christian Griffin, Field Operations Manager and my job is to look after the pipes within Yorkshire to ensure we provide clean water to our customers at all times. Excellent, so what are we here to see today? We're going to have a look at a water tower today Guy. Oh wow, let's do it. Let's go have a look. So what is a water tower? So a water tower is basically where we store our clean potable water and have it ready to supply our customers. So we use the height of the water tower, as you can see it is very high, to give us what we call a head of water. And we use the head of water via gravity to feed our customers with good water pressure. We ordinarily have these in areas which are flat because there's no natural gravity to feed customers as we need. Clean water from our treatment work service reservoir is pumped into the water tower using booster pumps. It's stored in a large tank before making its way to customers' homes. So the water tower, how does it actually work? So the tower is basically a huge tank on legs and it works by our local water treatment works or service reservoir feeding the tower either by gravity or via a pump. Oh wow, so is it always is water always coming into it or does it have like intermittent? It generally is filling most times of the day of, at night. At, at peak times on the morning and tea time it will use more water, there's more demand from our customers in the system. After that it will cover and start to fill as it does on an evening and fill through the night. So there's good efficiency in water towers because we use the natural height of these to provide the gravity to feed our customers with water and this avoids us needing a pump system uh, which can be very expensive and use a lot of power, a lot of electricity which is uh, not very efficient. So how long have water towers been around for? Well elevated storage of water has been around since like the ancient times and many years ago they will have soon realised that it was an efficient way using the gravity from the tower to provide water to their, to their people. So do all water towers look the same? The Dork I know there's many different ones that are out there. Uh, this one in Leeds is predominantly concrete based exterior and there's lots of different shapes and sizes, uh, the heights can be very different depending on the area and the demands on the system etc. Some of the older ones have different architecture in and around the building for how they look and you even get some which are conical shaped or donut shaped. We don't particularly have a huge amount within Yorkshire due to the, the hills we have so we have good storage within those uh, however they are more common in some other areas. Uh, America for example large vast areas of flat land you'll see a lot of water towers in probably every town. So how elevated do they need to be? Um, that very much depends on a few things uh, such as the area that it's going to supply. Uh, there's aspects to consider of where the source of water is coming from going into the tower. We have certain pressure and flow standards we need to maintain to our customers properties so that's all relevant to the height of the tower to ensure we can meet those standards basically. So Chris, thanks for showing us about water towers. No problem at all guys, it's been a pleasure. Thank right. you. Excellent, thank you. Right, I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. That was water towers. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, don't forget to put them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. And in the next episode, I'll be going over to the east side of Yorkshire to find out about groundwater. So until then, see you later.